Now let me show you how to calculate the number of blocks, bricks, tiles, or pavers you need for any surface area. And keep in mind the keystrokes are exactly the same for those using the Construction Master Pro desktop model. The concrete block function is based on an 8 by 16 common concrete block. The way you can check that is you hit recall and above the length key it says uh, blocks, but in this instance we're going to hit the floor key because the block area says 128 square inches and that's stored. That's the default size of blocks for the function. You can change that to whatever you like, but for this example we're going to leave it as an 8 by 16 concrete block. So if you just need a single run of blocks, a single course, let's say you had 100 feet, 100 lineal feet, convert to blocks, that's going to be 75 blocks for a footing under a fence or just along a property line or a walkway. If you need to figure the number of blocks for a wall, say a 100 foot long, 6 foot high wall, 100 feet by 6 feet, so 600 square feet, convert that to blocks, 675 blocks. Um, say you might want to add plus 5% for waste, 708 blocks, and then let's say you've got a hot deal on these at 63 cents each at your local home center or building supply yard, uh, say times 0.63, convert to cost, right over the zero key is cost, so that'd be $446 worth of blocks. Now you can also use this function for other size blocks or bricks or tiles. I'll do one that's very simple for you to do to understand. Say we've got a 12 inch square tiles. We're going to put on a 100 square foot uh, patio. So we have 12 inches by 12 inches, 144 square inches. We're now going to store that as our block area. So block area is now 144 square inches. It's a one foot by one foot tile. So now I've got 100 square feet. Convert that to blocks and it better come out to be 100 blocks. Sure enough. Uh, if you've got pavers, for instance, you maybe have a 4 by 8 inch pavers, you know that's 32 square inches, so you can just enter that directly, 32 inch inch square inches. Let's store that as our block area. Now that's stored, that's a paver size. And again, so if this is a uh, 100 square foot patio, 100 feet feet, convert to blocks, you're going to need about 450 of those 4 by 8 inch pavers to cover that patio. So that's a quick overview on the block function. For more details, you can download our user guide at www.calculated.com support.